Hello, my name is Doreen Muramuracha, a young woman living with HIV and the founder of this beautiful channel that you have happened to see if you're new here. And if you're old here, <laughs> I just said old. If you're old here and you have been, you're among my 6,000 subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel to a brand new video. How is the month of October taking you all so far? It's almost Christmas, people. It's almost Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I hope um, October has a little bit of love and light that has accompanied it and you are enjoying your life. I think if I was to compile frequently asked questions, uh, this would be amongst those videos, okay? Uh, it's about the issue of being undetectable. So undetectability is something new. Uh, in the year 2020. It's not very new to 2020 because it has been here for a while but uh, a lot of people tend to get lost on what it is. So let me start by defining simple terms. By the way, today's video is about uh, why you will turn detectable after being undetectable for so long or after being undetectable. So first of all, uh, the CD4 are the number of white blood cells in your body which means if you you remember your primary school science it's basically the ascaris you know it's like the 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 defense forces of your body and then uh when hiv gets into the body the first thing it does because hiv is a virus that actually destroys your immune system your immune system is the defense body that when you get common cold it fights it in three to four days you're okay without even taking medication but when you have hiv and uh, the hiv virus comes into contact with the blood and now it is in your blood the white blood cells start fighting it unfortunately hiv is more powerful than your white blood cells and most of the time it requires a little bit of help and that is where ARVs come in However, we also have something called the viral load. The viral load is the number or the amount of virus level in your body per square, per liter, per something. <laughs> I have forgotten, but it's I think per cubic something. I have forgotten what they used to measure it, but uh, it is the amount of virus in your body. And uh, the copy, the, or rather the number of copies of virus in your body, according in your blood, that is, not in your body, in your blood, because HIV lives majorly in your blood. Uh, now, when the virus is high, the CD4 level is low. When the CD4 level is high, the virus level is low. What do I mean by that? I mean that when you take care of this very well, your immune system or your CD4 cells are be, they get strengthened. When they get strengthened, now they are able to form a new army. And the, with the help of ARVs, the virus level reduces. So when you take your ARVs very nicely every day, you don't skip, you don't, you eat well, you avoid stress, or you limit stress that you can handle, then you become undetectable. Doctors project undetectability to be six months at the least, but and being undetectable, you can be on ARVs for up to eight years without being undetectable. Why can you be on ARVs every day without getting to the undetectable level? One, you're not eating well. Two, you're not taking your medication every day. Three, you are not if you're taking your medication, maybe today you take at 10 p.m., tomorrow you take at 11, the following day you remember and take at 9, the other day you remember and take at uh, 9.45. When taking ARVs, time is very important. In fact, way back when we used to be, when we used to be, we used to take uh, more than one ARV, our medication was labeled the time you're supposed to take so the doctor would ask you what time do you take you say 8 a.m so they say 8 a.m 8 p.m because the medication is designed to last in your body for only 24 hours after 24 hours your body does not have any form of defense mechanism which means the virus if you're giving the virus in your chance 
in your body sorry a chance to replicate and become more stronger than your viral load you know than your cd4 cells you know what uh, the thing with the virus is the arv keeps suppressing it i don't know whether you've you've ever gone to the the, the old kosher meal places where you you keep uh, punching in the the the, the flour until it's it is enough for the um, it can fit in the container so it's the same thing it's a suppression process done by the ARVs on the virus in your blood but now when you're not taking the medication on time you're giving uh, ARVs a hard time to suppress your virus and you're also giving uh, the virus a chance to grow and become happy in your blood and we don't want that because the moment you give the virus such such a a, a, an opportunity you start exposing yourself to opportunistic infections you start exposing yourself to the probability of moving to stage 4 of hiv which actually now causes aids because a lot of people are living with hiv and not aids you can have hiv and not aids aids and hiv are two different things aids does not even have an anti-suppressant suppressant medication it does not at least hiv has airways but when you reach AIDS, your chances of survival are very minimal, okay? So, <clears throat> for people who are living with HIV and you're taking a medication every day and you're wondering, it's six months, it's one year, it's uh, 18 months and I'm not yet virally suppressed. Why am I not being, being virally suppressed? Check on your time, check on your food, check on your stress levels, check on your, how active you are is your body active because let me tell you you must be active it is actually something that you always ignore when you're told eat nicely exercise and avoid stress the exercise part helps you don't need to go to the gym or something but you need to put your body to be active so that as the ARVs is fighting ARVs can't work alone they have other factors that they need to work with so that they can keep you healthy and restore your quality of life but now what happens when you how do you know you're undetectable there is a viral load test that is taken after every six months but now what happens now that you have now been tested and for eight years ten years you've been undetectable and then one morning you wake up and boom you are detectable first of all go back to the drawing board what happened why did you skip your ARVs at any point uh were you stressed at any point have you been sluggish or lagging behind or not able to uh, be active uh, put your body into any form of activity and have you been eating well because ARVs and nutrition go hand in hand like this you cannot take care of this on an empty stomach you cannot take care of this on alcohol you cannot take care of this and you're smoking and you're drinking uh, and you're sleeping hungry that cuts off your chances of becoming undetectable also don't be so anxious to become undetectable because und being undetectable is not a permanent state it is a state that you can maintain but it is not permanent you can reach there but sometimes like for women when you become pregnant and the hormones are doing their thing in their body you can easily become detectable so it is all about your general well-being for you to reach undetectable your general well-being has to be at least 25 percent okay so you can actually move from being undetectable to detectable in fact real quick you will be surprised <laughs> okay so what i'm trying to tell you is try as much as possible to maintain a normal healthy lifestyle so that if you test and you're undetectable you maintain that state because being undetectable comes with its own packs for example you're able to have unprotected sex with your partner without the worry of infecting them why because you are now undetectable and they say undetectable equals to untransmittable and the number of uh, copies required for you to actually become undetectable is below a thousand copies so anything below a thousand copies don't worry you're safe you're good okay but always encourage your partner to use uh, other protection measures such as prep and also condom use okay from time to time just in case just in case okay <laughs> yeah however undetectable equals to untransmittable this is not a rumor these are facts so and i deal with facts i don't deal with rumors or things i have had okay 
but you can actually go from being undetectable to detectable next week i'm going to address part b of this video i'm going to address another issue uh, i won't say it now but i will address it okay but it's also still breaking down the aspect of being undetectable okay because undetectable does not mean you've now turned and become hiv negative you still need to continue taking your ARVs, okay so that is all that i had for today and i hope I've, i hope i've given you a little bit of insight on the issue of uh, being moving from detectable to undetectable to again going back to detectable okay and how long it takes so i hope you learned a little bit about, uh, from this video and uh, thank you for listening to me you've reached this end please subscribe watch share like and please don't forget to engage with me in the comment section thank you and bye bye see you next week